Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we went around Poe collecting. We also helped out Gorons, because that's fun. Uh, where? Right, so we want to be down there. I have no idea why I'm on the left side of the map here, to be honest. Why did we leave off over here? Heck if I know. Uh, but we did help out the Gorons. And that's the important thing. And we have a mail. Did I click the wrong save file? I've come to deliver a letter! Oh no, it's a letter from Malamar! My business is concluded onward to mail! Okay, sorry about that. Uh, collection, there we go. Yeah, we have 13 postals. This is where we're supposed to be at. Uh, Heroes come to let Malamart, the hero of discounts, is finally open in Castletown. We've got all you need for that upcoming trip, and we offer it at unbelievable prices. Grand opening special magic armor. Limit one. Act fast, heroes. Slightly scary, but uh, let's... Check it out in a little bit. I did promise that we would get the uh, hidden skill. Which is out this way. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if you hear lawn mowing sounds in the background. My neighbors started mowing the lawn, like, literally right when I was about to sit down to record. Like, come on. Do you have to spy on me like that? Uh, let's see where that wolf is. It's just kind of sitting out over here, huh? Can I just... Can I, can I climb up and over? No, of course I can't. Can I climb up and over? Of course I can't. Oh, that's open now. Hooray! Where are you? There you are. There you are, you little goof. Come here. It's our friend! We meet again. The next is the greatest of the hidden skills I have taught you to this point, and it may test the limits of your endurance. Do you still wish to master it? Of course I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the backslice. Let's do this. No. There we go. A, A, B. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fourth hidden skill is the Helm Splitter. Let it be hewn into your mind. It is impossible to circle around and perform a backslice against the fully armored enemies that move swiftly in combat. Against such foes, you must first use a shield attack to make them flinch, but then quickly press A. You will leap into the air over your enemy's head and greet them with your blade by immediately striking from behind. It's very cool. This is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Alright. This is going to be interesting. So. Shield attack. A. There we go. Isn't that cool? I love it. Impressive. Do not miss your chance to land a helm splitter with A after your shield attack. The fourth hidden skill, the helm splitter, has been passed on. Yeah. 
Yay! Yeah, this is going to be very useful. There are th still three hidden skills. This is the most powerful one. There are still three. <laughs> Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn your skill. May we meet again. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can continue our hunt for puzzles. <gasps> Yay! I just want to see... Um, we're going to be visiting the Malamar later because we, we're just going to come back to the... Castle Town later for story purposes, so we may as well just do that all then, and we don't really need it now. But first, let's talk to this Goron. Hey, look, brother, the way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you're headed, but be careful. Thank you. So now, as he said, this is all cleared out, and we can go straight into Southern Hyrule Field slash Kakariko Gorge. Well, not Kakari, that's, that's to the to the east, but yeah, the Hyrule Field here. So, navigating is just a little bit easier by horse if you don't have, you know, Midna to warp you around. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We want to now go, do we look at your nose? Uh, to Lake Hylia. So let's just warp ourselves over there. Surprise, there's a whole load of pulse pulsos. There's a whole load of pulsos in Lake Hylia. Uh, obviously we're gonna have to be coming back here at night for that, but there is stuff we can do in the meantime. Uh, which includes getting like chests, there's like stuff we can get up over there above the spirit cave and let's transform into a human. I'm only human. Uh, where'd the claw shot down go? There was a link. Link, get out. Get out of the water line. Can I reach that? I don't think I can reach that. No. So I think I have to be up there. We might have to navigate down from the flight by foul, which we are unfortunately going to be using a whole load. Uh, but first things first, let's just head into the spirit cave. Uh, once it's night, we'll do the, the actual post hole collecting, but with the claw shot, we can actually get some cool stuff. Mainly this stuff in the back there. Remember we tried to make the jump and we just couldn't make it? Well, with the claw shot, we can easily just come up here. It's kind of cool that, wow, there's actually like a whole door and everything. It's kind of cool that this spirit cave has a secret and the one uh, in Elden has a secret. Elden? Yeah, Elden. Like five rupees. You got a blue rupee. You got bombs. Yeah, isn't that great? Those are some really great things that you need to claw shot. No, of course that's not the only treasure here. Come on. It's gonna be a Miiverse stamp. No, it's not gonna be a Miiverse stamp. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna be a piece of heart. Uh, let's see. Yep, so that was piece of heart number 23. Three. Um, let's see. There's actually a whole bunch of claw shot things here. Uh, we can't do anything with that claw shot because it's way out of our reach, unfortunately. That's all cool stuff, though. If only. If only we could claw shot up there and then claw shot to the next one, but we can't because we'll fall. But yeah, that's like a secondary ledge. That's kind of cool. We'll have to remember that and come back later.
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So as we continue to hope that it becomes night soon, let us head over towards the cannon area. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm lying. It's a good song. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It kind of looks like it's getting later in the day. It is. Uh, but we do have our bird friend here. Who, you know what? Let's just do it. Someone will see you! Who's gonna see me? The bird? Him? He's not gonna see me. Look, see? Surprise! Hello, 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 hello! I'm Plum! I'm really excited about the latest attraction in here at the lake. You wanna hear about it? Sure. This attraction is about popping balloons and you move it over the call. It's stupendous! All the lemons are worth different amounts. Watermelon 1, orange 3, strawberry 10. Why do you kind of sound like the mailman? Oh, and if you break the same type of balloon twice in a row, you get double the points. But only up to 10 times. If you get a wall and fall off, you get no points. That's right, zero! You get nothing! <laughs> you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Uh, and if you get over 10,000, you get something neat. So let's do it. Why not? This is something... I see. And by do it, I mean... Anyway, yeah, we get a we get a cargo rock. Sorry, I was just kind of waiting for it to actually show. So now we are going to be doing a mini game. As as I said, you kind of want to hit everything you can. Um, combos are great. Watermelons are greater. If you hit anything, you lose, and you want to get over ten thousand points. Don't expect to do this very easily. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Try to get only watermelons, like if you can. If you have a choice, I think. Unless the watermelons are the worst, what do they say? Or maybe, no, no, it's the strawberries, isn't it? It's the strawberries. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid today, I'm sorry. No, how do you miss that? Do, 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 do. So like for stuff like this, you have to like dodge all the way out of the way. Uh, let's try to get only strawberries here though. As you can see, it gets kind of iffy. Up oh, and we died. Great. How did you even get through that? It kept going. Did you see that? It kept going. Or did you hear that, I should say? Okay, let's try this again. Actually, it's getting darker. Or okay, give it one more try, I guess. Right. 
Did we get it? Did we actually get it? Wow! <laughs> okay. Well, that was really good. So the part where I got hit before, if you saw in the attempt here, uh, you just gotta dash through it. God, that was so much easier than all the other games we've done! 15,000 points?! You get more than 10,000 points?! Wow! Here, take this! But don't think it's gonna like you or anything, Baka! You got piece of heart number 24. Four, four. You're completely hooked now! Try to- you don't need to beat a high- Okay, so it, you just get an orange rupee for beating a high score, so we're not gonna do that. Are there any Poe's while we are here? Yes, there are! There's a Poe right over there. Is there- Is there a second one here? No. Okay, so let's go get this guy. Since it's nighttime and we are here, that's actually a great way to pass the time. Wow. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright, and that's number 14. Sweet. Uh, let's quickly warp ourselves back down to Lake Hylia, so that we can, because we're all the way up here now, so we can get some of the pose that we're missing there. There's, there's a whole bunch, there's a whole bunch around the lake. Some of the pose that we're going to be getting here are just really lame. I'm not gonna lie. There's one up over here by this area. Remember, we we're just like, what's the point in existing here? Who's this guy? Postal number 15 or something. Uh, let's see. You can kind of see the next one up over there. We're gonna have to gonna have to do the flight by foul game to get there. Uh, let's see, I think there's another one somewhere this way. Fortunately, Link cannot use ladders. Uh, and Link, uh, Wolf Link cannot use ladders. Hey, Moon, you just kind of stay there. Yeah, there's one up there. I don't know what I was trying to do with the hook shot, with the claw shot. We're actually gonna have to come here eventually. You see there's someone on the top of the hill there. So about that. Anyway, that's postal number six. I think. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next up. Um, next up, we ran past it, but there's a Howling Stone right over there that I don't think we've used. So let's go do that.
Come on. What's that? Was I not doing that? Excuse me. Okay, whatever. I was doing the this third to last one too early. I think that this is an original howl. Oh. Hi. I love just the representation of all like the different areas. That must be the place that we need to go. It's a Coliseum of some sort. Oh, there's the medallions. Look at that. Let teachings of old pass to you. You're floating in midair there. Take sword in hand and find me. Ah! Well, that was neat. <laughs> You're not even on our map. Uh, next up, remember this cave over here? So, there's a little circle of grass out here, if you take a look. It's actually a dig cavern. So, these guys are weird. These are water tab- oh no, we fought them, what am I talking about? That doesn't actually fill them, right? No, it just pushes them. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Okay. Come on. Yeah, we're just playing tennis with them right now. Man, there's just more and more. Excuse you. Come here. That is a very active beehive. Are you guys dead? Okay. So for beating all those guys... Get a treasure chest with a Miiverse stamp, the letter S. This used to be a hundred rupees, of course. Let's leave the bees alone. I'm gonna leave the bees. Uh, next up is Poe collecting in the Lantern Cavern, but that is going to have to wait for next episode because we've we're we're pretty far. <laughs> Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. I'm just going to enter the cavern because it'll be easier to navigate life that way. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been Several to Before with The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Goodbye, everybody. There's like three or four in here. Three. Bye-bye. <laughs>